afternoon. This is Chris Brecher with the Simpler Stocks free video for March 14th, 2017. First week of daylight savings time. The title tonight was the calm before the storm, literally. Big old snowstorm coming in New York in the Northeast. Hope everybody's safe up there. But that led to subdued trading where the ES is up 325 today. NASDAQ up 13. Thinkorswim took off the Russell Futures. So I have to use IWM was up fractionally, as you see, up 32 up here. The actual Russell, if I use Tasty Works, the actual Russell was up about 570. The idea in there is I might have to combine some other platforms in here. You have the bonds down 22. This becomes a big deal. We'll go into that in a minute. But bonds down 22, notes down 9. You have the industrials down 21 today. You have the transports down 38, led by the airlines getting pummeled down about 7 to 10% ever since Warren Buffett giddily touted them on CNBC. You had the uh, transports, like I said, down at their lower levels of the last month, actually. You have the uh, Russell, like I said, up fractionally, up 5. Crude oil down fractionally. You had gold and silver up very little. But the silver and gold stocks, I look at JNUG, just the three times ETF. Look at this move today. That's a pretty stellar move of the junior gold stocks, up 20% today. What is that all about? I still don't understand. But that might be forecasting what gold's going to do in the future. Uh, high yield bonds up just fractionally. Just not a lot of anything going on. Guess what? UVXY down again, Nikkei up 90, and you had the Chinese market up almost a percent, DE Dow up uh, all of three-tenths of a percent. That's uh, the German DAX. So where do we go from here? Number one, I want to show you some interesting charts. Now, just to let you know, I'm not a perma bear. I'm not a gold bug. I'm not a Doug Cast. I'm not a Peter Schiff. I'm just, I'll try whatever is given to me. But I just want to show you a dangerous divergence happening. Now, I know I've mentioned the ES is here on the left. Now, I'm going to show you a weekly chart of the ES is on the left. And while Thinkorswim still provides it, I'll show you the bonds on the right on a weekly. That's a massive divergence right there. Massive. Now, when's the last time I saw it this diverge? Let me show you. Go to my trusty Snagit files. This is 2017. This is the bond market getting tattooed, and here's the stock market. They usually go together. All right, this, does that look familiar? That isn't now, that's 1987. Bond market getting tattooed, almost the same slope of the market. Just fascinating, fascinating, fascinating. Now, look what happened after August 13th, 1987. You guessed it. That divergence finally presented itself. Now, you might say, well, what was the precipitate of that? It was the last leg of the bomb market. The last, it went down, consolidated. That last sell-off was finally enough to undo and have all the portfolio uh, protection of everybody getting walloped at the same time. So the idea on that, and this is why I'm a little frightened, is look at the bonds on a daily. Having that same sell-off consolidated and now having another leg. If these can't hold right here, go to a weekly chart of the bonds again. And you could see what I'm worried about, them getting down to these levels. That's a big deal. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but that could be the straw that finally breaks the back of, of the ESs. So just keep that in mind in there. These are the type of correlations we talk about all the time on simpler stocks. But I want to make one thing clear. We don't just go massively bearish. I like to just show overall perspective just so people have sort of a learning idea. Because I was down there on the floor in 1987. And the day of the crash, I took all my money out, went to a bar and just drank because I was afraid that uh, none of my trades would clear if the whole market fell apart. 
So just to let you know, I, I that was the only time in eight years I ever left the floor and went to a bar, ever. I'm just too serious. But that day I was afraid the whole system was going to collapse. So just to let you know what our, we still have the seven day, 30 day trial. This includes the chat room. I'm on from nine to 10 in the morning. I actually clicked on it wrong. It's not Snapchat. It's actually in here. Sorry about that. The chat room from nine to 10 in the morning. Premium video, a lot more in depth than what you're hearing now, a lot more stock specific. Email alerts. I usually have six stock ideas and six index ideas every day. I point out unusual option activity when I see it. I now put that on the premium video so I can explain it a little more. We also have a thing called the meetup. We've been doing all these classes between 15 minutes and an hour for free. Really a big deal. I don't charge extra for them. We're on our sixth one now about intraday relative strength. We've had the power pre-market activity. All these are about feel. And then they go in a learning area. And you can look at all of them. As you see, it's not one or two. It's a lot. A lot of other places charge $99 a pop. Those are free with your subscription. So I hope everybody's enjoyed this video. I didn't mean to scare you showing you the... Uh, the 1987, that's just to give you a perspective of how important I think the bond market is. So everybody take care, and I will talk to you later.